There have been many controversial deaths in the film industry in India. Even though most of these cases are done and dusted, there are still many rumored situations or conspiracy theories surrounding these deaths. Discussing these mysterious cases, here is Tried and Refused Productions with famous Indian celebrities that died under mysterious circumstances. Guru Dutt A legendary Indian film director, actor and producer, Guru Dutt captivated audiences in the 1950s and 60s with classics such as Pyasa, Kagaz Ke Phool and Sahe Bivi or Gulam. He died at the early age of 39 in October of 1964. He was found dead on his bed in his rented apartment at Pedder Road in Bombay. A legend who was extremely disciplined in terms of work ethic but was rumored to have an extremely tumultuous married life. He had separated from wife Geeta Dutt and was living alone at this point. He is said to have been mixing alcohol and sleeping pills. There are speculations on whether the death was suicide or an accidental overdose. His son Arun Dutt claimed it to be an accidental overdose as he said that his father had sleep disorders and would pop these pills nonchalantly. Due to him being intoxicated that night, the mixture of alcohol and sleeping pills presumably led to his demise. It is considered more plausible as he said he had scheduled appointments the next day with actress Mala Sinha for his movie Bahare Phir Bhi Aayengi. Kuljeet Randhawa, the former Glad Rags model was known for her portrayal of bold and strong women centric characters. She is best known for her work in TV series Cats, Special Squad, Hip Hip Hooray and Kohinoor. Besides acting, Randhawa worked on a number of modeling assignments for brands like Reed and Taylor, Ricova and Maggi. On 8th February 2006, Kuljeet hanged herself in her apartment in Juhu, a suburb in Mumbai. In a suicide note, Kuljeet stated that she was ending her life as she was incapable to cope with life's pressures. Shortly before her death, she had completed filming for the movie By Chance, which was stalled and later not released. Manmohan Desai A very well-known director and producer of Indian movies, Manmohan Desai was an active creator in the industry from 1960 to 1989. His movies defined a new genre called masala films. His best-known super-hit movies were Amar Akbar Anthari and Dharamveer. He had a string of hits with Amitabh Bachchan in the 70s and early 80s, which helped cement a Bachchan status as a superstar of Indian cinema. He worked with Amitabh on Amar Akbar Anthari, Parvarish, Sohag, Naseeb, Desh Premi, Kooli and Mard and was largely considered to be an extremely successful director and producer. His wife, Jeevan Prabha Desai, died in April of 1979. He was engaged to actress Nanda from 1992 until the time of his death in 1994. On 1st March 1994, per news Manmohan Desai fell from the balcony in Girgaon as the rail he was leaning on collapsed and died. Very little is known about his death except that he was suffering from chronic back pain. Rumors of him committing suicide have not been confirmed. Towards the end of his career, Desai's previously successful stories and style began to lose favor with audiences. Critics accused him of self-parody. His last film as a director, Ganga Jamuna Saraswati, and the films he produced with his son Ketan Desai directing, Allah Rakha and Toofan, failed at the box office. Many say he took his life as he could not cope up with failing health and declining career. Shikha Joshi. Shikha Joshi was an Indian film model turned actress who is best known for her role in the 2013 movie BA Pass. On May 16, 2015, Joshi committed suicide in her flat in Varsova, Mumbai by slitting her throat with a kitchen knife in the bathroom. The flat owner Madhur Bharti and her friend Pushpa Parmar were present with Joshi when the incident took place. The presumable suicide note from Joshi stated that the many married men are responsible for her ending her life by committing suicide. According to an official, Joshi was taken to the hospital more than an hour after she slit her throat. The hospital stated that excessive bleeding was the cause of her death. What's intriguing is what might have led to this horror story. Joshi had alleged that Dr. Vijay Sharma who had performed a breast implant surgery on her in 2006 of sexually exploiting her in 2011 when she found a lump in one of her implants and wanted to check up according to joshi the doctor touched her inappropriately but according to the doctor vijay sharma he said i first met shikha in 2005 when she came to my khar clinic for breast and stomach surgery 
She completed all formalities and even paid for the surgery. I gave her a 5 year warranty for the procedure. He claimed that Joshi came back in 2011 demanding him to perform the surgery again free of cost, which he refused and asked her to pay. He added that after this incident, Joshi and her brother filed a molestation case against him and demanded rupees 2 crores from him to take back the case. He also claimed that Joshi had tried to commit suicide in 2012 blaming him. In 2013, Joshi and her brother Vishesh Joshi were arrested for pelting stones at Sharma's residence in Andheri but were later released on bail. This entire ordeal is something we can definitely not fully understand. Parveen Babi She was an Indian actress who is mostly remembered for her glamorous roles alongside top heroes of the 1970s and early 1980s. She starred in blockbusters like Deewar, Namakhalal, Amar Akbar Anthony and Shaan. At the prime of her career, Parveen decided to leave everything in Bombay to travel and eventually settled for a period of 6 years in California to also get treatment for her mental illness. She returned to Mumbai in November 1989 where she was unrecognizable as her former self. after having put on a considerable amount of weight she was rumored to have been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia a mental illness through she regularly denied this the actress who was constantly marred by failed relationships and mental illness died on january 2005 after her residential society secretary alerted the police that she had not collected milk and newspapers from her doorstep for 3 days the police suspected that she may have been dead for up to 72 hours before her body was found The cause of her death was not immediately known. She was found to have gangrene on the left foot as a complication of her diabetic condition. A wheelchair was found near her bed and a series of disarranged paintings, clothes, medicines and old newspapers. She had a bandage on her left foot that she had put on to treat her gangrene which had resulted from a long ailment of diabetes. It is possible that she was unable to walk in her last days due to her gangrenous foot. and required the use of a wheelchair to move inside the house a post mortem was conducted at cooper hospital and reports showed that there were no traces of food in her stomach but some alcohol possibly from her medication the police ruled out any foul play and it was determined she succumbed due to total organ failure and diabetes divya bharti she was an indian film actress who starred in a number of commercially successful movies in hindi and telugu cinema She started to get film offers at the early age of 14 but failed to infiltrate in the industry at that young age. She finally made her Hindi film debut with the 1992 action thriller Vishwatma. She later starred alongside legends like Govinda and Rishi Kapoor and gave memorable hits like Shola aur Shabnam and Deewana. Surprisingly Bharti met producer Sajid Nadiadwala through Govinda at the shooting of Shola aur Shabnam and over the course of several months they fell in love. and the couple got married in 1992 bharti at this time just being 18 years old on 5th april 1993 around 11 pm bharti fell from the 5th floor apartment at the tulsi buildings in varsova mumbai after neighbors discovered her she was rushed to the emergency ward in cooper hospital doctors failed to revive her the immediate cause of death was stated as heavy internal bleeding at the back of her head what's more convoluted is the cause of the fall One theory states that she met some friends designer Neeta Lula and her husband and had a drink with them and in the influence of alcohol when she went towards her open window which didn't have a grill she slipped and fell another theory is someone pushing her or suicide suicide still is not that plausible as the actress had everything going for her in her acting career but the case was closed in 1998 by the Mumbai police stating it as an accidental death Silk Smitha Silk Smitha was an Indian film actress that starred in a lot of movies between 1979 to 1996. Smitha started as a touch-up artist for an actress and soon got a break in a small character role. Later she was discovered by Vinu Chakravarti, director at a flour mill. He changed her name to Smitha and took her under his wing. His wife taught her English and arranged for her to learn dancing. Though soon due to her marked sex appeal she switched to roles to cabaret dancers and vamps and inevitably found herself typecast after garnering much notice and acclaim with her first major role in the Tamil film Vandi Chakram in 1979 Smitha assumed the screen name Silk after her character's name in the movie after it became a big hit she could not escape typecasting 
severely limiting her range throughout her career. Some film critics, historians and journalists have referred to her as a soft porn actress. A vast majority of her movies are considered soft core by Indian standards, and a common theme is her playing a freakishly strong agent in skimpy bikinis beating up huge thugs. Her acting prowess did not go completely unnoticed, and in her rare non-sexual roles, she impressed critics and audiences. The actress committed suicide in 1996, but the reason for her act is still extremely dubious. In an interview to a Kannada channel, Ravi Chandran said, "I was busy shooting that day. I was surprised to see Smitha trying frantically to reach me a few times. I tried to speak to her, but the call never got through due to poor connectivity." I thought it was a routine call. However, the next day to my horror, I realized that Smitha had killed herself. I shudder to think what could have been the reason for her call. This haunts me even now. Smitha was found dead at her Chennai apartment on September 23, 1996. Though no one knows the exact reason, it is believed that she was battling multiple problems, including financial crunch due to her dwelling into producing movies, disillusionment in love, and severe depression due to alcohol abuse Smita Patel Smita Patel was an Indian actress of film television and theater regarded among the finest stage and film actresses of her time Patel appeared in over 80 Hindi and Marathi films in a career that spanned over just a decade Her first thrust with the camera was in the 1970s as a television newscaster on Mumbai Doordarshan the Indian government run broadcaster Notable mentions were movies like Manthan, Bhumika, Akrosh and Mirch Masala. During her career she received two national film awards and a film fair award. She was the recipient of the Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian honor in 1985. Patel was married to actor Raj Babbar, who she met on the sets of Bigi Palke. She died on 13 December 1986 at the age of 31 due to childbirth complications barely 2 weeks after having given birth to her son Pratik Babbar. Nearly 2 decades later one of India's greatest film directors Mrinal Sen alleged that Smita Patel had died due to gross medical negligence. In an article by Bhavna Somaya in Quint she writes When Raj Babbar was preparing for an event called Hope 1986 This was the discourse between them. She pleads with him to let her accompany him for the show. I'm feeling better. I always do when you are with me. Let me come along too. When will I ever get to see a show like this? But Raj isn't willing. He tucks her into bed, covers her with a blanket and goes into the bathroom for a shower. He returns barely 10 minutes later to find Smita looking pale as chalk, doubled up with convulsions, cringing in pain and vomiting blood. He panics. Moments later quick arrangements are made to get in touch with the doctor. In a rather eerie interview if you reflect and think about her life she said, "It is said that a dear friend once read her palm and predicted that Smita Patel would die early and she was not surprised. I don't mind, but as long as I live, I want to lead a healthy and wholesome life, a life I believe in. In fact, I'll be happy if I can cross my 30s." Jia Khan Jia Khan was a British American actress who was known for her roles in Bollywood movies. She made her debut in 2007 with Ram Gopal Verma's Nishabd opposite Amitabh Bachchan. Jia Khan later came in two movies with Ghajni in 2008 and Houseful in 2010. With both these movies receiving immense commercial success, and Jia was praised for her portrayal in both the movies. Khan was born into an Indian Muslim family in New York City. She was the daughter of Ali Rizvi Khan, an Indian American, and Rabia Amin, a Hindi film actress in the 1980s from Agra, Uttar Pradesh. Khan's father left the family when she was 2 and never came back. Describing her father's absence, she said, "A man who left his daughter when she was 2 should be hanged in public." Khan reportedly committed suicide by hanging herself from a ceiling fan at approximately 11:45 p.m. in her own bedroom of her Juhu family residence in Mumbai, while her mother Rabia and sister Kavita were not at home. On 7 June 2013, a six-page suicide note was found by her sister. The note is reportedly indicating that Jia planned to end her life. A transcript mentioning a recent abortion was also mentioned and released by the family. The letter clearly indicated her distress and trauma that she was going through and directly pointed accusations at Suraj Pancholi whom she was dating at that point. 
Aditya Pancholi's son Suraj Pancholi who was allegedly in a live-in relationship with Khan was taken into police custody during the investigation on her suicide on 10 June 2013. The Bombay High Court granted him bail on 2 July 2013. Her death case is being probed by the Central Bureau of Investigation. On 3 July, Bombay High Court ordered CBI probe into Jia Khan's suicide case. Khan's suicide case transferred to CBI by High Court. The prosecution in the case charged a case of sexual assault and murder on Suraj Pancholi. The Bombay High Court heard the matter on 7 June 2016 following Supreme Court's call to expedite the process. On 1st August 2016, the CBI ruled out the murder in the case. As per its investigations, the cause of Jia's death was suicide by hanging. Jia's mother Rabia independently hired a British forensics expert, Jason Payne James. He concluded in a report that Jia Khan's hanging was staged and the marks on her face and neck indicate it was not simply suicide. This is definitely one of Bollywood's most convoluted cases. And that was the list guys. Write it down in the comments below if there were some actors that we missed out. Don't forget to smash the like button and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. The handle is right in front of you. Follow me on Jammy Pants 4. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and keep on watching videos every week for new content.